part of the cultural summit and uh, to share my journey um, as an artist and uh, through my design. So I'm sharing my uh, presentation. The photos that you see in front of you is uh, me as a teenager and uh, me today with uh, my young family and uh, my four daughters in this photo. There are a total of five. Um, so um, I, my, I started my journey uh, with my education. I went to the UK and did my BA in jewelry design and silversmithing. Uh, came back to the UAE in 2002 after uh, exhibiting and showcasing uh, in London. Um, um, and to me, the beginning of my journey, I wanted to uh, really uh, understand my society and my community. So coming uh, back to the UAE after living five years in in the UAE, um, I started doing a lot of volunteer work uh, to understand the community. And um, I realized very early on, uh, even when I selected my major, um, that um, I wanted to be true to my passion. And one of the quotes that stuck with me uh, from uh, school time up to today is the quote of Sheikh Zayed. And he who has no past has no present or future. And I think a lot of my work um, captured this quote in, in all spectrums uh, when it comes to my art and even um, when it comes to my design. I'll take you through a, a quick journey of photos of my first exhibitions. Um, in the country, out of the country. Um, I didn't wait for museums. Um, I did my first exhibition in the Cultural Foundation. And um, from there, I realized I had very uh, limited way of reaching the community and putting out my artwork. So I um, started exhibiting in festivals, uh, cultural festivals around the UAE. And through those festivals and uh, solo exhibitions in, in different uh, spaces within the country, some in Dubai, um, I started meeting uh, people and connecting to people, uh, meeting the community. And a lot of what I heard from the community um, was it's beautiful, it's unique, it's different, but uh, can we have more pieces? Can we have affordable pieces? And um, I think that somehow uh, was the initiating factor to me starting to think of design. Um, I, as an artist, um, I struggled in the beginning, to be honest. I mean, it, it was uh, quite difficult to earn my living uh, out of selling my art. Uh, it was unusual as wearable art, as jewelry or even sculpture. Uh, people, um, at, when I came back in 2002, I mean, um, it, it wasn't something part of the you know, culture of, of owning one of artworks. Um, but I think I, I came also in the right time because uh, in, by the mid of 20, 2005, that's when all the um, uh, ideas or all the concepts of having the Guggenheim and the Louvre started happening. And um, I started feeling like, you know, I was, I was lucky um, and the world or the art world is coming to the UAE. I don't have to uh, go to the rest of the world if they're coming over here. So I um, focused um, uh, every year on, on creating um, uh, a body of work uh, as an artist. And um, in 2005, I think, uh, let me quickly just share, of course, the media supported spreading my ideas and my concepts um, throughout, um, you know, uh, the, throughout if it was exhibitions, if it was 
through me winning awards. I, I think I was really uh, lucky to, to uh, go through that process and to have that um, uh, support what's happening. Uh, okay, so um, I'll go through some images of my um, wearable art. Those are initial pieces that I started with. I enjoyed working with silver and uh, creating different pieces that represented my culture uh, through um, the shapes and patterns and method of creation like casting in cuttlefish bone or fabricating from scratch. Um, so a lot of the pieces uh, captured stories from the desert to the sea, uh, to the pearl harvesting uh, and, and the divers and the story of the divers. So each, literally each piece would have its story uh, and would have a reason of existence. Uh, maybe one of my favorites is the Riq al-Oud and uh, I was uh, also very lucky to have uh, this pair of earrings uh, showcased in a book called 500 Earrings, uh, and then re-showcased again in 100 Earrings, uh, which is an international book. Um, so to me, telling, telling a story um, was also something I carried forward in my design. Um, I, in, in here, in this images, you can see my work um, using different materials. And here I have asphalt and gold and tire. Um, so to me, working with local and different materials was part of my uh, journey and, and uh, experience. Uh, if it was feather or desert, uh, desert rose, or just uh, different plaster rocks that I collected from the desert. Um, I, I might have worked with different combination of putting diamonds or gold or silver with uh, non-precious material. And to me, each piece of course told the story, but we're not here to discuss that. I want to uh, take you through uh, my art journey in the past two decades, uh, reaching today where I am uh, with my design. So this is an, another materials to me, calligraphy and identifying with my uh, language and uh, identity through uh, using the Arabic language was very important for me. Um, and um, I, I suppose we'll be reaching it very soon. The palm tree plays a big part or a big role in, in my uh, artworks. I enjoy working with natural materials and uh, sharing it uh, with the community in, in public art uh, installations. In here I'm showcasing one uh, of uh, my recent uh, exhibitions that I had um, and uh, I, I must say the mild steel or the rusted steel is, is also one of my favorite materials. Again, some with calligraphy, stainless steel, and here also I've got some pieces with the palm and the calligraphy. I do enjoy um, adding uh, things that people can relate to. Uh, maybe abstract pieces are what I enjoy and, and using um, things that directly maybe people in the community would not recognize, but also having calligraphy and, and having Arabic poetry um, to me is important because I want people to connect to the pieces and feel that they represent them as well. So those are all pieces made out of the palm. Um, I collect the pieces from my family farm. I cut them, I prepare them, and I create different pieces from them. These, uh, this was an installation that I did uh, a few years back uh, in celebration of the National Day with the public. And all these palm branches were installed by the public that were there at that day. Um, 2005, that's literally, I mean, I came back in 2002 and 2005 
that's when I decided to establish my design studio and start my production. So having myself alone uh, would not have been enough. So I uh, recruited and created a small team, which um, I still do have. Uh, and in, in this image, as you can see, the coffee cup and the shell. Uh, the shell was casted in cuttlefish, so it actually uh, has similar, if not identical, lines and patterns from the uh, original uh, shell. Um, and the coffee cup is also um, one of the items um, that uh, a lot of people wanted to have and own, especially that it is inspired by the large size coffee cup that Sheikh Zayed used to uh, enjoy drinking coffee in. Um, and in 2005, uh, I had my first, uh, let's uh, put it this way, my first 1 million order. Um, I must say, I didn't uh, earn profit out of it because it, it all went into uh, learning and, and uh, doing all sorts of mistakes when it came to packaging and, and uh, uh, printing. But uh, it, was, it was a great journey and it definitely um, has, uh, has allowed me um, to continue through uh, the past 15 years in my production. Uh, this is some uh, images of my recent Sheikh Khalifa, uh, uh, throw, uh, Sheikh Khalifa uh, cup uh, for Falcon, uh, uh, which uh, I've designed uh, for 2021. Um, some of the trophies uh, that I've done over the years, this is the film festival. It was a great opportunity to have uh, the pieces uh, I designed and produced uh, in Abu Dhabi fly all over the world uh, in the hands of all these famous people that uh, I adore uh, and enjoy watching uh, their movies. Uh, I mean, it, it was interesting for me, my, my journey was not about advertising my design business. Uh, it was, it was all uh, very organically growing. Um, and um, I had different people who received different gifts that I created would contact me and commission me to, to design special trophies and awards uh, such as this one for the tennis. I even met people, um, delegates from the States uh, that were visiting Abu Dhabi. And that's when I, for example, had the opportunity to design and produce uh, Hillary Clinton Award, uh, which uh, has continued for many years. Um, I must say when it comes to design, um, it's about um, making the client happy. Um, and, and allowing them to see uh, their pieces or their branding um, in their pieces uh, that they gift and that they uh, 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 give to all these different special people in or out of the country. And um, uh, definitely uh, it has been an amazing uh, journey to, to have uh, my uh, production, uh, which started um, out of nothing, out of need, out of necessary, uh, necessity, um, to be today, uh, uh, an, uh, to play even an important role in changing uh, local awards and trophies and gifts that get to be gifted from the Emirate of Abu Dhabi uh, locally and internationally. This is a design I created for the Diwa Dates Festival, one of the uh, favorite places that I enjoy spending uh, time in during the summer. Uh, and then we've got uh, horse races, trophies, um, again, that travel all over the world. Um, to me, it, it's definitely trying to balance between uh, what I enjoy as lines and uh, a story 
and what the client uh, needs. Uh, one of my favorite, Aldana Amour for the Environment Agency in Abu Dhabi. Um, I, it totally, I mean, I had an open brief. I was able to create anything I wanted. And uh, I must say up to now, it's one definitely one of my favorite that contain and, and uh, the Arabic letters of the word Adana and uh, in itself, the oyster uh, that uh, grows in, in our uh, uh, sea. Um, in here, uh, again, um, I do uh, enjoy as well putting the Arabic letters within my, my design. Um, the, uh, the image you can see on the left side uh, is uh, Sina'at and um, it's an industrial uh, company. Um, and I just wanted to create something that represented them, but that was not a logo in, in, in your face. And definitely they fell in love with the uh, concept and design. And it varies from one client to the other. Some clients um, want it very uh, traditional, the other, and some allow me to, to work with uh, my own concept and my own design. And I think when I get that opportunity, um, the piece becomes closer to my art rather than my design. So the, the products over the years have varied from trophies to bookmarks, candle holders. Um, I mean, name it, I probably have done something for a client over the, the, the past two decades. Um, These are again some of the um, designs that I've recently uh, produced for some of the uh, competitions, Falcon competition. Um, in here, uh, we're moving um, towards jewelry design. I mean, a lot of people, I mean, I've shared my art, but I also had the opportunity to be commissioned to create more design pieces that also still would have my uh, unique touch, but also that would capture the uh, client uh, taste and, and need. Back to Burger is uh, as well uh, another uh, design uh, venture that I created uh, very early on, uh, I think around 2006. Um, and the idea was connecting. Um, with the past uh, through making the burger itself an, an icon, something that we can be proud to wear. I mean, I, I don't know if you can see it, but I wear my tiny gold burger as well. Um, and um, I mean, my mother didn't have the, I mean, she didn't wear the burger. I don't think I would wear it, but I still remember my grandmother and I still want my daughters to connect to that and how beautiful it is and how unique it is. So it's one way of me keeping the past present in, in, in a modern context. Um, my design as well, um, I mean, everything I created in art would always pour into my design. Um, I created furniture, uh, it is definitely um, something I enjoyed. Um, I might uh, I mean, have limited uh, production or, or uh, have produced limited pieces out of them, but uh, they're an amazing, they're, to me, they're, they're similar in the journey of creating art, but uh, making them uh, much more functional. So these are with the palm. Um, these are as well with the palm, but uh, they're the narrow part of the branch rather than the wider part of the branch. So all the technique that I use in, in even my design, um, I try to use my experience of creating jewelry um, in the way I set uh, the, the palm branches within the frame. Um, I try to, to, to create it in the same way I would create jewelry rather than how a carpenter would create it. So I think that somehow as well, um, 
connect to to the style that um, I create my pieces through. So to me, functional and sustainable furniture is, is very important. Um, I'll come towards the probably end of, or close to the end of the presentation. Um, this is one of my recent installation that again, um, if you've seen all these pieces, to me, the palm, the sea, the uh, graph is always present in, in my artwork or even in my design. And um, the swing is one of my recent pieces in, in Noor Island in the Sharjah. Um, I, if you are in the UAE, uh, I'd like to invite you to experience it. Um, again, um, to create a piece that have a meaning to me and that can allow uh, the general public to enjoy it in, in their own way uh, is, is also something I totally enjoy. Also one of my uh, recent collaborations, to me collaboration, design and art all intermingle together. Um, I worked with about 50 people of determination that painted on the palm branches. And then I created those beautiful, uh, unique flowers, which I installed uh, this formation in this piece. Um, again, working with calligraphers, uh, I totally, I mean, I am not a calligrapher. I'm more free as an artist, but I enjoy um, the rules of calligraphy. And I enjoy working with amazing calligraphers in and out of the country. And this is one of uh, my recent collaborations. Recycling is also part of my journey. This is a piece that I've created using airplane parts uh, with Etihad Airlines, uh, melting materials and recasting them. Um, I think we've reached the uh, end of the presentation. Um, I can definitely, if we have questions, I can answer your questions. Let me just find the screen. Well, um, until I receive any questions, I mean, I, I would definitely uh, love to uh, share a little bit uh, more about my design. So to me, my design was my only way of, of reaching the community, being independent, being able to, to create my art and, and live the life I wanted. Um, I, I had many choices to even have a full-time job, but it wasn't something I wanted. I wanted to be a full-time artist. That was impossible. Um, but for me to make it possible, design was my answer. And um, I suppose, um, it's been an, an, an amazing journey of two decades of giving and supporting my community through my workshops, uh, through spreading the uh, passion and, and love uh, towards design and art, and through establishing uh, awards for jewelry as well, which I've established about six, seven years ago for uh, for emerging designers. So. Uh, Still, I don't think I'm getting any questions and we're soon to end. Thank you so much for this opportunity. It has been uh, an amazing uh, opportunity to share my journey, to share my passion uh, with all of you and uh, hope to hear from you. Um, if not in this session, definitely through social media, you can find me on my Instagram, Azza al and I look forward to connecting with all of you. Thank you.